What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called Angry2048 that I have here booted up on my Android device. Um, it is worth noting that this game is of the sort of hybrid mashup genre, that is to say it's an app that takes one thing and uh, sort of just mashes it together with another. So obviously we've got Angry Birds in uh, 2048, the great new title game that everyone's been playing. Uh, some of us more successfully than others, I will probably say. Um, but anyway, this tries to combine both of them into an interesting uh, concept, and for the most part, it actually does it pretty well. Um, when it comes to these titles, we usually don't think much of them, uh, just because they, uh, you know, obviously you're taking elements from other games, and uh, more than more often than not, those things don't really mash up. But in this case, it actually works pretty well. The basic concept is that you're trying to aim for specific numbers, and... Hopefully I can do this. There we go. So you want to hit the same numbers as the ones that you uh, have in the sling here using Angry Birds kind of physics, but doing the math that's involved with something like 2048. So if I'm trying to aim for that 2 there, and I missed. It is really sensitive as far as that stuff goes. You have to hit exactly where the number is. Uh, like I have to hit that 4 exactly where the 4 was. Obviously it wasn't going anywhere near there. If you have a miss, you have 5 lives total. And once all those are gone, it's game over. There's no ifs, ands, ors, buts, or buts about it. Um, so anyway, that's where that is. Um, we very much enjoy this. Like we said, it's uh, better than we expected. We didn't expect much from it, but uh, once we kind of dove into it, we really did enjoy it. Um, furthermore, it's nice that it comes with a free price tag that helps a lot because um, obviously you can play it for free and see what you think of it. Um, and if it doesn't turn out to be something that you want to mess around with, then uh, you haven't wasted anything. Though, you know, honestly, it is a really good-looking game. If you look at this, it's not just a cheap rip-off, uh, which we do see a lot of within the genre. This looks nice. The physics are good. Um, they're not the greatest ever. It does come with advertisements, by the way, uh, as you just saw. But that's okay. We're not too upset about that. Um, you know, developers have to make a living. So, um, but the graphics are decent. The back uh, is probably the best part of this. Um, there's a few areas where we might change this, and it's kind of clear that this wasn't made by the same people that made Angry Birds. Um, 2048 was made just by a dude um, doing his own thing, actually. But um, either way, it's kind of uh, clear that this needs a little more polish, but then again, you know what doesn't. And uh, for the price, it's it's easily worth your time to invest in. And of course, it is quite fun to try to see how high you can get um, so with all that in mind, we are going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 star rating, and that is all I have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. This has been Angry2048, and that's all we have to say. Alright, bye.